Now, Preston, I spoke with workers and students who did tell me just that, that they are relieved that things are back to normal. Now, uh, this power outage impacted um, a lot the business, uh, the businesses and workers tell me uh, that their focus now is to just get back on their feet. This strip along Pacific Avenue has been quiet since July 6 when businesses had to shut down because of a power outage. Workers saying they've been struggling to make ends meet and the businesses have taken a big financial hit. Our employees and everything that have been out of work for over three weeks now. And so it's been difficult on us to try to uh, make rent uh, for this place on here, but also to try to keep our employees, um, you know, in their in their houses and everything. While some businesses have opened up again, others are waiting for the health department to give them the green light. Over at the UW Tacoma campus, students had to shift to online classes. I was just confused because I didn't know what would happen, but it also said there was a tragic accident, so I, like, I didn't know if someone died or not. I've been here for like a couple years and never had that happen before, so um, I didn't really think much of it because I was like, oh, it's probably going to be like a small thing, maybe like a couple days max. Those couple of days turned into a few weeks. Our Steve Saran said he's glad to be back because he tells me he thrives during in-person classes. At home, I can get distracted with things. And in, in person, it's like I'm actually like in a class environment where other people are also wanting to learn. As for the businesses on the strip, workers say they can't wait to welcome customers back. We're hoping in just a couple days we can get this strip a little bit more alive and, and see people coming back to this area. Now, again, not all businesses have been able to open their doors back up, but workers tell me that thanks to the generators that were installed, most businesses should be back up and running by Wednesday. But for now, reporting in Tacoma, Karina Vargas, Coma News.